I have discovered something amazing, right? I've discovered how to grow biofilm on mass to feed our shrimp guys. And I've, been, I've actually been doing this for at least the last two or three months and I had contemplated keeping this to myself, but I thought, well, you know, you guys also struggle like me. So what it basically is, guys, is I've actually found a way to grow biofilm on leaves and it's, it works so well, right? You can physically see a layer of slime on the leaves and it was so simple. Before when we were doing this, guys, with leaves before in the bucket below, because it does involve the bucket below. If you're not familiar with that, what that is is we've been putting leaves into a bucket of water, adding back to AE to it, and that has been working reasonably well until I've actually, like, turbo boosted the mother into actually making more and more and more biofilm guys and it is as simple as this when i tell you what it is you'll be like oh my god why did we not think of this before it's as simple as this you add a teaspoon of brown sugar to your mixture as well as your leaves your water and your minerals and whatever else and you mass produce biofilm within days when i first did this i was absolutely shocked guys at how thick the biofilm was in the leaves and how much you could physically see like slime coming off the leaves is like uh, basically like wallpaper paste right so there, there is an upside and a downside to this because there always is and that is if you do it my old way where you have leaves in a bucket and um, you want to feed your tank the odd leaf you can basically keep the leaves in the bucket for for as long as you like right but this new way it actually uh, it, the, the bacteria basically burn through the food mega fast, right? So we had the same issue before when we did a thing called lactobacillus. You guys will remember we made lactobacillus in bottles. It worked fantastically as well, right? So the issue with lactobacillus in the bottles is we were actually adding the stuff directly to the tank. This new way, we're not actually adding any of that stuff to the tank. All we're doing is growing it in a container and then we're adding the goodies to the tank later. And guys, I'm seeing like growth in my shrimp tanks, like baby booms galore in, in, in almost every single tank and it's all down to this, right? So that's what I'm going to show you today. Hang on to your boots, hold tight. And guys, this is an amazing discovery. I'm so happy that I finally discovered something like this because it, it, it makes such a difference. Let me show you how I do it. All right, shrimplets, this is how we do it, right? We have our bucket down here. This is a bucket that has roughly about 20 litres of water and it has minerals in the water as well. The, it originally was pure reverse osmosis water with KH, uh, GH+, plus, GH, KH+, plus, and we made it to neocaridina parameters. I think I'll show you how I do that as well because I, I want you guys to understand the steps in this fully because it's so good. Once you know how to do this, guys, overfeeding is gone. And shrimp tanks because you're going to start to feed your shrimp leaves if you have like thousands of shrimp in a tank it's okay feeding god bit of food or something but trust me guys i'll probably do a video in the next few days of me trying to sort out all these bloody shrimp because there's so many there's guys there's literally like thousands of baby shrimp in one tank and i have like four or five tanks but it's the same with like thousands of baby shrimp i'm like how am i going to sort all these guys out maybe one of you should come here and help me <laughs> figure out what to do with all these babies right so let's get on to our prep if you've not seen my videos before i prepare my leaves in a bucket like this under there let me just lower you down i'm looking at the beautiful legs and let's see can we zoom in a wee bit we can right so i'm going to pull that bucket out so you can see it fully like this and you'll be able to see in here that i have air and whatever else in there oh let me see and whatever else in here and, and i leave this guys normally for a week and then i refresh it when you use the sugar method you have to refresh it every week if you don't use the sugar method then it's as good as long as the water is good kind of thing right so we have lots and lots of air going in here and I like to put my air stone in it. God, this, the, the biofilm on this is unreal. It's like literally dropping off the stuff. I wish I could show that to you. But we do have some leaves in here. Guys, it, it, it's like wallpaper paste. 
look at this. You see this stuff hanging off the end? Let me see if I can get you a bit closer. It's like snot. This is how much biofilm's grown on these leaves. Oh my god. And yeah, the, oh my god, there's, there's even worse ones than that. What have we created? We've created the perfect shrimp food. Loads and loads of lovely biofilm. So since I've been doing it this way, my shrimp populations have absolutely exploded. Right, so let me zoom out a second. Like this, just adjust the camera up. So you can see me again. Guys, didn't I tell you this was going to be good? Let's put it into a tank here. And we'll come back to that in a second. And we'll see the shrimp reaction because they go berserk for this stuff. And yeah, I'm guys, I can't believe I've discovered something like this. It's just, it's an amazing feeling when you discover something for the first time. And it truly makes a massive difference in your shrimp breeding. Oh, I wonder if I can get the camera, this camera in here a little bit so you can see all the biofilm on it before the shrimp eat it. One second, guys. All right, guys, I thought I'd just quickly get a, a picture of this before the shrimp all jump onto it and, and the biofilm disappears because, yeah, this generally disappears within about a day. But I think the biofilm growth is through the leaf because I've noticed that the shrimp, the um, when they're eating the leaves, they prefer these biofilm soaked leaves over the normal ones so I have a, I think that the biofilm is actually grown through the leaves so they, they munch it to bits all the same and yeah you can see here look at all the stringy growth here and this stuff here it's like snot actually on it which is is just amazing right and yeah this is so easy to do I think I'll show you that now and we'll come back to the same leaf in about 10 minutes once I've shown you how to make this all right guys let's first get what is in here uh, and uh, uh, the stuff that's already in here I'll put in, uh, in some of the other tanks because oh yeah it's so slimy even the walls are mega slimy look at this got all the slime it's amazing how fast this grows when you do it this way right so I'm going to put this into the tanks and then we're going to empty this container and we're going to fill it up fresh so you see exactly how I make this all right guys are you ready to see the master mix that will change your lives literally in shrimp keeping. We're going to fill this container up with 20 litres of water. Look at this biofilm on the sides. This is me just empty. Oh my god, it's so gross. God, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, but it's literally filled with biofilm. You can see it all on the bottom. This is what the shrimp love, guys. This is the shrimp's real food. So I'm going to let that just fill up like that i can actually put the pump on in a second and fill it up more but what i want to show you guys is actually how we make this mix and it is basically a teaspoon of brown sugar like this there's some back to ae or dead shrimp powder i've used both i seem to get the same results with both so use whatever bacterial product you want or you have lying around and just see how it works out but I particularly find Bacter e, e, e very good at this and dead shrimp powder and so there it goes in our teaspoon of sugar so this is the fuel source for our bacteria and guys I think I mentioned but the water is GH KH plus for neocaridina yeah the TDS is about 150 of the water that's going in here so I thought that would be important to tell you as well so here we have our Bacter AE and I just put in about four of these tiny little spoons like this and it's not so much and the reason I don't add tons and tons and tons in here guys is because yeah there is a slight issue it's one of the only drawbacks of doing this is this bacteria that we're adding will consume that sugar right and eventually the, the, the sugar will run out and the uh, biofilm will crash right so i've i've noticed that lasts maybe about a week so it's good to do this every week or two right normally it crashes about after a week maximum growth is normally obtainable within uh, two days so two days seems to be two or three days seems to be the actual key 
to getting this to work really really well that's like when it's prime and then after that as the sugar starts to run out the, the biofilm starts to get less and less all right but if you choose not to use sugar you can do it this way as well and it will last infinitely but uh, the biofilm culture isn't as strong right the other thing i will add as well is i only use banana leaves in my stuff now like this right so you can buy banana leaves at the store you can dry them like I've shown in previous videos and what I do guys is to see how much leaves I need I normally go with these strips about this size roughly right for one tank so I have about 30 strips here and that just goes in like this and then we're going to put the water on a wee bit more powerful because it, it will be just a wee bit slow here I have mines on a little pump thing here let's turn it on there you go we're going to give this a little mix like this just to stir it up get that bacter ae and sugar nicely mixed together and spread it over everything inside the tank inside the tub now this tub is the kind of tub guys that you use for uh, beer making i think it is so it's 25 liters and it is perfect for this right so you just give this a stir up just make sure that your sugar is all dissolved because you want that mixture that we put in the bacteria and the sugar to coat these leaves and it will if you do this it will right and what's also important is that we add our air supply so remember that gunky biofilm covered air stone i was trying to show you before yeah it's so slimy look at it oh my god look at this thing so it shows you this works so you need airflow to go through this as well now guys the only thing i would say the word of warning with this as well is anytime you put your hands in and out of this container please 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 make sure that you wash your hands after and before but make sure doubly sure that you wash your hands after i wouldn't like you, any of you guys to get kind of some type of bacterial infection in your eyes or in cuts or anything like that just make sure you give your hands a good wash right so this is almost at 20 layers you can see my little mark here up to there and then this gets pushed under the rock uh, my room temperature is currently 24 degrees celsius there's no heating at all in here this is just the natural ambient temperature of the room and this will be left for two days before it is ready to use okay one second i'm going to show you the shrimp that we put a leave in before remember one second all right guys so here is the shrimp actually on the leave can we zoom in we can look at that isn't that awesome you can see that they're naturally drawn to biofilm because it is their natural food source it is what they eat the most of in the tank is biofilm so biofilm is really 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 good for shrimp it has Chitin in it and it has all different types of proteins and amino acids and whatever else all within that biofilm that helps the shrimp grow right and you can see in this picture here uh, this is my uh, boa tank and you can see we have plenty of babies in here you I actually need to start culling this is what I'm saying guys is I'm I'm, I'm getting so many baby shrimp I need to start actually doing something with them because yeah you can see here that there's uh, blue steels the ones that look like blue bolts in here there's loads and loads of young let me just pan up a bit so you can actually see the rest of them as well because they're all over the place aren't they cool and there's baby shrimp everywhere in this tank which is the way it should be let me quickly show you the other tanks before we go just so you know what you know okay so i picked up the camera it's not on the tripod, it might be a little bit shaky, but I just wanted to show you the shrimp and how they naturally grow forward the biofilm. So these leaves that you see them on, I just put them in. And guys, the, these shrimp will be all over these leaves for hours. And in general, you, when you see it like this, you'll be surprised at how many shrimp you have when you start to feed this method because look at that biofilm, it's really, really clear on here because what tends to happen is you put it in and it could take an hour for all the shrimp to come to the front but yeah it is awesome to see that this starts to work and then you start to get young everywhere makes sense doesn't it 
that you, you're actually feeding the shrimp what they are designed to eat and then you start to get babies surviving more and more and more and let's keep in mind guys I don't feed food at all apart from leaves and I'm actually able to breed my shrimp like this so I thought I'd share with you that discovery because yeah I, I think I'd be kind of selfish if I actually stumbled upon something like this and I didn't share it with you guys because I know you guys all love my channel and stuff I don't always get the same amount of views as I used to but maybe that's just about to change because yeah, I'm, I'm sharing stuff like this with you and um, I think I should also mention as well this works for Neos as well it's just an amazing food for shrimp and you'll start to see massive massive differences in your breeding within a few months when you start to do this isn't it awesome guys look how many shrimp are in this tank if you'd like to subscribe and like please do maybe also consider becoming a member because that's what helps me keep doing all this stuff and yeah guys i love you all the shrimp love you happy shrimp keeping look at that shrimp oh my god oh my god i'm beating shrimp like that in my room oh my god <laughs>